so we are hydrocarbons generally hydrocarbons are three types one is one is saturated hydrocarbon the next one is unsaturated hydrocarbon and third one is aromatic hydrocarbon the saturated hydrocarbon example is alkene unsaturated hydrocarbon containing double bond and triple bond so examples are alkene and alkyne so now aromatic hydrocarbon now topic is aromatic hydrocarbon okay the aromatic hydrocarbon generally the aromatic hydrocarbons are called as arenes arenes enes means double bonds so means in aromatic hydrocarbons is containing only double bonds those double bonds if it is double bond is present that is called as unsaturated compound this is also unsaturated compound but it is involved in continuous conjugation or continuous resonance resonance structures are possible in aromatic hydrocarbon so this aromatic hydrocarbon your example is examples are one is benzene so this is your benzene structure or next one is toluene so toluene means on benzene methyl substitute methyl group is substituted that is your toluene this toluene is also aromatic hydrocarbon and next one another example if it is so benzene rings so two cyclic rings are combines are condensed together so this is called as naphthalene this is naphthalene and next one three cyclic rings are condensed together so such aromatic compound is called as anthracene anthracene so these are your aromatic hydrocarbons aromatic hydrocarbon means continuous conjugation is present in between the carbon and carbon so these aromatic hydrocarbons are called as arenes examples are benzene toluene naphthalene and anthracene okay now these aromatic hydrocarbons in that hydro aromatic hydrocarbon we first consider this one benzene okay so now i am discussing only general properties so before general properties what is the nature of benzene so benzene is a aromatic compound it is a aromatic compound this benzene is exhibit 4m plus 2 pi rule so that rule is called as huckel rule okay that rule is called as huckel rule so 4m plus 2 pi rule it is aromatic compound so generally the benzene is a planar compound it is a planar compound and this benzene is undergoes sp2 hybridization nature or property means benzene is undergoes sp2 hybridization it's it's obey huckel rule that is 4m plus 2 rule so due to these conditions and also very important one this benzene is a cyclic ring cyclic ring and it involves in continuous resonance nature and the double bonds are involved in delocalization process these are involved in delocalization process means continuous resonance process so due to that this benzene is considered as a aromatic compound so now this aromatic compound of benzene so before preparation this is prepared from so we already completed the first method so that is preparation methods of benzene preparation methods of benzene now in that first one acetylene three moles of acetylene is passed through a red hot iron at 773 kelvin temperature it produce benzene so this benzene molecule formula is c6h6 
now this is our first one this is our cyclic polymerization process during the cyclic polymerization process as benzene is formed from acetylene through red hot condition now second preparation from phenol from phenol means on benzene on benzene alkali group is substituted so means the hydroxy group so generally oh group is a substituent at that time that oh is called as hydroxy the hydroxy group is substituted at a substituted on benzene such compounds are called as phenol so this is called as phenol so this phenol is reacted with zinc okay zinc metal it is undergoes dehydration process means elimination of water molecule it is readily abstracting a water molecule it gives benzene plus water okay so preparation of benzene from phenol with zinc metal and next one is from decarboxylation decarboxylation process okay the sodium salt of carboxylic acid so coo minus na plus sodium benzoate so the sodium benzoate the sodium salt of carboxylic acid is undergo in presence of soda lime in presence of soda lime soda lime reagent is NaOH and calcium oxide so the combination of calcium oxide and sodium hydroxide is called as soda lime so the sodium salt of benzoate is reacted with soda lime it undergoes decarboxylation means elimination of water molecule so elimination of carbon dioxide produce benzene plus co2 and it and again gives na2co3 sodium carbonate okay and sometimes it gives water molecule so this is your decarboxylation process means these three methods are for the preparation of benzene the benzene is under the ester is undergoes polymerization process produce benzene and next one is from phenol the phenol is reacted with zinc metal undergoes dehydration process this is a decarboxylation process gives benzene so these are the three methods of preparation of benzene